Is there any lag? Are we good? I do this because this seems to cause lag. No lag. Very good. What am I doing? Well, how should I start off this? Uh... How should I start off this video? I didn't, I didn't think about this. Many hours later. Ludwig 2.0. Hey, what the fuck? Who tweeting at me? Ludwig 2.0. Today, we're going to bring Ludwig back. Because people thought that I, you know, I use, I play with Seth and I forget about Ludwig. No, no, no. Today we're going to go with Ludwig. Look at this Ludwig over here. He's got plus three gear. So much more room for improvement. Tier five gear as well. But let's take a look at some of his gear on the right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you may be interested. He's only got 49,000 CP. Yeah? Am I blocking it? For 49,000 CP, as you can see over here. Yeah, okay. I don't have legs. So I use my bum to move. Let's take a look at his gear. Firstly, these boots. Oh, 29% oh, crit damage. Did you just wet your pants, buddy? Yes, you did. And that's why he has pretty good crit damage, even though he's on an attack set. Okay, so these boots are great. And then we've got this ring. Eh, this ring is all right. Could, could use some crit damage in some stats, but okay, I'll just make do with what I have. And then we've got this crit damage necklace. It's shit, but hey, I'll go with what I have. Tier five weapon, to be honest, it's tier five. Low base attack, but 17% attack and 12% crit damage. Very nice for, for, for tier 5 weapon. And then we've got the helmet, plus 3. Yeah. <laughs> it's plus 3. It's the last minute equipment that I just got. But uh, because I don't need crit rate, I want a min max. So uh, this, this, this helmet happens to have crit damage and attack. So I'm using it. Okay, then we've got the shittiest chest piece ever. <laughs> but we're just gonna roll with it as well. So the week just reset, but we're still in Challenger League, okay? And we're gonna test him out against these teams here. Previously, uh, we had some problems with Ludwig because, you know, the speed tuning, and then we had the, our stripper didn't strip and whatnot. Today, we're gonna use a different approach. This is the team that we're running. We're gonna run a turn one, Ludwig. Shuri for the combat readiness boost, okay? And then Armin move snakes. Armin is exactly 21 speed ahead of Tywin, so we don't get any fuck ups because of the plus 10 minus 10 RNG. Yeah? Armin goes, gives that thing that makes this comp possible. Yeah? The invincibility buff. And then Tywin goes, buffs Ludwig, and then Ludwig kills everybody. That's the plan. A lot of you must be thinking, oh, but I don't have all these units. No, no, no. Listen, if you have a Chardis, you do the same thing. Armin is not necessary. It can be a Chardis. Basically, any unit that buffs invincibility, okay? And in this slot, you can go with Auxiliary Lot if you're so fortunate to have him, or basically anyone that buffs attack and combat readiness. It's important at least two people buff combat readiness because the Ludwig that you want is a slow Ludwig that has all his stats into damage, yeah? He's gonna be slow, but he's gonna hit hard when he does hit. Let's just jump right into it. Just jump right into it, okay? Let's go. Right. One shot is all it will take. Are we dead? Wow, this is so stacked. Holy shit, I'm so scared. He's so stacked. Okay, we're gonna start off with this. Combat readiness. Yeah? Combat readiness. Okay, now we buff with the armor. There you go. Yo, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's just hope it works. <laughs> on paper, it should work. Okay, on paper, this should work. Wonder Boy Ludwig, can you do this? Let's go. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. The only reason Vildred is not there. The only reason Buildred is not dead is because the Fat Cat's passive did proc. Okay? Fat Cat's passive proc and we missed on Buildred. Otherwise, he would be dead, dead on. Yeah? And now remember, this Ludwig, plus 3 gear, tier 5 gear, 49,000 CP. Not even in the correct and best set for Ludwig. Because you want to crit damage set for him, right? Ideally. Sure, there's a Cecilia here. Am I afraid? I'm not. So how do you deal with that? A lot of people say, Diane's all over in the rain, I can't do it. Just outspeed her. Let's start. Yeah? Just outspeed Diane. It's as simple as that. You move first, she doesn't buff. Am I right? If you move first, she doesn't get to buff. And if she doesn't buff, you don't have to deal with the buffs. And Diane is absolutely worthless. Right? So here we are against a um, Aureus Cecilia. 
Don't make me eat my words. Ludwig, please quit. Please, please quit the Cecilia. Please, please, please. Would you agree? Not as clean. Not as clean, but still. But still. Orya Cecilia level 60. Okay? Yeah? Still work. Still work. And the, the beautiful thing about this comp is, unlike a SES comp, you are required to floor something. Sometimes you might fail at flooring that one unit. But in this comp, you don't care. You just don't care. You just nuke and then just clean up after. It's, it's that simple. Easy peasy. She had 20k HP? I think so. I think so. Okay, next one. We've got another Moonlight Can right here with a Haze and a Falcon or Cluri. So, if we outspeed, this comp heavy relies on outspeeding. Ideally, if you don't use a Shuri, it's better. It's actually better for one to use a Judith. Because Judith has 117 base speed and Shuri has only 110. Yeah? So this comp, you need to outspeed. Yeah? And then you go with this. The moment Shuri moves, I win. Pretty much. I don't think there's a way I can lose because they just cannot come back from so much damage. Yeah? When the boy on the booster chair, you can't deal with it. It's just too much incoming damage, even with the utility artifact. Now imagine if Tywin was replaced with something like an auxiliary lock, and I can run a damage artifact. That damage would be futile. Look at that. Just like that. Each match takes you less than the time you had your first time you had sex. Okay. Tenebra and Shadow Rose. If we outspeed Shadow Rose, we're gonna win as well. Easy peasy. Yeah? He's now the Wonder Boy. Okay? That's what we're gonna call Ludwig from now on. Don't outspeed me! Okay, we, we outspeed, we outspeed. Yeah? The moment we outspeed, we already won. There's no comeback from it. It doesn't matter if he's right. Look at Double fire. Double fire. It doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. He can run full fire. I will come into him with Ludwig. And we will still win. Yeah? You can have a Ravi in there, you can have whatever, we will still win. Yeah? Trust! They pull in the booster chair. See? Oh wait, what the fuck? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Do we have one more? Please tell me I have one more. Please. Please. Yeah, let's cure this. Yeah, let's let's give a let's give a proper ending to this. Another shadow roll. I want a proper ending, don't let him outspeed me, I swear to god game, if you give him the plus 10, minus 10 RNG, I was okay. Very good, very good. Aureus Shadow Rose. Aureus Shadow Rose. Is he gonna be able to tank it? No. I can tell you straight up, no. Yeah, look at the damage we do. Do you see the damage? This is a utility artifact on Ludwig. Not even with Tonfas. Not even with um, the other thing that uh, uh, that relies on debuffs, but more important, the best artifact for for Ludwig would be Tonfus, right? But I can't use Tonfus. This is a utility artifact. Still, we're gonna output like what, 16k? This is how you should do arena. Once you go cleave, you can't go back. Arena should be done in like five seconds. Let's not mention like Duke War content coming in the future, right? Where you expect it to maybe have a little bit of a long drawn out fight with losers in a three man meta. But in Arena, if you are taking five minutes to do a fight, it's not efficient. Anyway, Ludwig, once again, even uh, even though we, we, we're running a different type of team now, going turn one, we can still output that damage to be able to clear the list easily. Okay, are we not a 10 minute video yet? What should we do? We do a bookmark, we do bookmarks. We do a summit session, okay? Uh, one, one, one bookmark pack. Fuck, YouTube algorithm, right? I don't really want to summon, you guys know me. Fuck, Ludwig kills too fast. He kills in 20 seconds. Like, Cess does an 18 hit combo, and it, you know, it, you, you take some time. Ludwig is like, hey, fuck you, bum, it's over. So we're just gonna do a single bookmark bundle, and uh, I'm, I'm just summoning for fodder here. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't mind Shuri for devotion skill. I wouldn't mind Isiria so I can play with Corvus. I wouldn't mind any four stars. Half on summons, half on fighting the end game boss. And who's the end game boss? Secret shop guy, Nisa. That's the end game. I mean, secret shop guy. Yeah, money for information, information for money. That guy. That's the last boss. Last summon. We're gonna review this unit. No, we're not. This shit. <laughs> 
Or is it? Oh, Terranogar. This guy has no name. Just one of the guards standing around Terranor. But don't be deceived by his name or his shitty appearance with the wooden spear. He's actually pretty useful. A lot of people run teams with him in, in Wyvern 10. Yeah, he's pretty good in Wyvern 10. He has a defense break that goes up to 75%. Yeah, he has dual strike passive, which is really nice. And this third skill is pretty shit for, for, for the boss. But yeah, are we, are we 10 minutes yet? And that's all the time we have for today. It's a rather short video. It can't be helped because Ludwig just floors everybody within seconds, okay? Smash like if you enjoyed this video. Smash like if you didn't enjoy this video. Smash like whatever the reason may be. See you guys next time. Bye!